What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to part four. This is going to be an update video on our sub box build seven months later. Uh, I know I have failed you guys on building the center console sub box and filming everything and whatnot, but we haven't really got a whole lot done. Um, the sub box under the sub, the sub box did undergo a pretty major change. Um, this was uh, mine and my buddy's first time ever building anything sub box related so we had absolutely no idea what we were doing um, and I did buy a app on my phone to calculate uh, cubic airspace and all of that I've about forgot all of the terms because that was seven months ago uh, and I've been very 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 busy trying to grow the channel and doing other more important things and working um, but anyway I'm gonna make this an update video if you're wanting to see it done Sadly, that won't be in this video, but I am going to start this series back up, and I hope you all do enjoy it. Uh, but we're going to go over a lot of issues that I had, a lot of problems that I had, and what we've done to pretty much solve the issues and everything. And the sub box center console is actually in my truck and working. Uh, we put a 15-inch SCAR audio. Um, I don't even remember the model of it. Um, but anyway, we did put a 15-inch subwoofer on there, and it's wired down to 1 ohm at like 2,800 uh, watts. Or, uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that now. I'm sorry, my truck is an absolute mess. Um, I haven't washed it. It's been sitting outside. Um, the inside is messy from the last show that we went to. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that now. I did put a lot of Bondo on the box. I have a couple videos which I will play after I talk to you all of where we ran into the issue with the port. Um, so it's actually not a ported center console sub box anymore. Um, we were low on airspace after I recalculated everything and already had the port in there. And we actually ended up putting the sub uh, inside of the box with it being ported. And it wasn't sealed up very well you know it was just kind of half-assed put together and we were getting some weird sounds and weird issues and whatever so i built the back plate like two or three more plates thick to gain some more airspace got rid of one it doesn't have a cross in it anymore i think it just has one i honestly have forgotten i don't think that i filmed it but i think i got rid of one of the dowels inside as well for the bracing so I got rid of one of the dowels, got rid of the whole port. We completely took the top back off and got rid of the whole port. Um, the cup holder design and the storage compartment is still the same. It's still the same sub box, guys. We just took the top off, completely removed the port, and built new back plates. Um, but it is all bondoed in right now. It all needs sanded. It all needs prepped. And then I'm going to also talk to you all about what I plan on doing to make the sub box look good. Um, so let's go ahead and jump on inside the truck and I'll show you what we're working with. So before we put this back together, uh, I didn't feel like buying another two inch dowel, so we actually took some plywood and we stacked three pieces up because two pieces is an inch and a half. So that covered our port that we had to remove because our port was an inch and a half tall. Um, then we put one more piece and we left the piece on there. So it's got a total of three pieces of plywood. Um, this one was the port wall, the bottom of the port wall. This used to come to right here. So then we added the two pieces. How many pieces have total, Charles? Three. Three? Okay. So then we added the two pieces, which is an inch and a half, and then that gets us up to the top wall. And then the top plate will screw into that as well. So we'll still have the bracing. Um, but I just want to show you this before we put it back together. I'm just filming this on my phone. You'll see this in, you know, in the video, of course. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I just want to show you this. I'm sure I'm talking about it right now in the video, but that's what, that's what it looks like before we put the top back on. And then we will just build one more back plate and the back plate will go all the way up to the top. Um, but the back plate, like I said, won't have the port cut out in it anymore. So we have the box completely smoothed and sanded down. I done the sides and the tops. So all of this is just dead smooth and flat. Just now finished sanding it. Got all of these sanded out. Obviously, there's still some gaps and stuff right here. Uh, just more pieces of wood weren't perfectly symmetrical. But all of it is planed out now and flat. So all of the gaps will get filled in with Bondo and then sanded one last time. Um, and then as you can see, no more port. And I've got perfectly clean seals all around in there. And then I went in here and took some silicone. Uh, just clear silicone and I put a little 
run around each seam of the box and then wiped it with my finger so all of that's perfectly dead smooth and airtight so i hit that with that quarter inch round over bit on both sides on the outside just so the outside looks quite a bit cleaner so right now we're going to go ahead and start spreading some bondo and then once that dries i'll show you what it looks like and then we'll sand it down and i'll also show you what that looks like Um, luckily, the way that we designed it, the sub is actually in the middle. Um, I think the back, uh, this bottom maybe is like an inch taller, um, just simply because of the way these legs and everything are made. Um, but it, it fits in there awesome. I'm gonna hop up in here and show you. So it does actually fit up in here awesome. I still do have to build the beauty piece for the front. I actually have a, a layer of Kydex that I'm going to use to form and mold it to the dash. And then I'm going to Bondo that in right up there at the switch panel. And then, of course, all inside of here uh, has just been a storage compartment. But, yeah, right here is the 15-inch sub. It's in here. It's wired up. It's working. It actually does sound really, really good, and it's decently loud. Um, it's a lot deeper than I thought that it would be. Um, I'm very, very happy with the sound and everything and to gain all of the space behind my back seat again because I used to have a sub box that was behind my back seat, two tens. It's definitely louder than the two tens and it's it's a different kind of loud. Um, so if you know anything about audio and stuff, you know the, the tens would be like a more punchier sound and this is more of like a deeper sound. It's just going to take one more skim coat of some filler and sanding it down a lot of sanding i mean a lot of sanding guys this is um it's not turned out quite as perfect as i wanted it to but you know it's just going to take more prep work to get it there and from where i'm going to do the whole box in bed liner and then build the beauty trim pieces separate that are going to overlay onto the box and those are going to be wrapped in the tan leather because i don't just want it to just be a gigantic bed linered sub box um, center console and then we also do have the cup holders are powder coated the illusion cherry just like underneath the truck so that looks really really good i'm gonna go ahead and jump up into the front seat right quick and show you guys kind of from the front and how it fits all right guys so the first issue that i'm having is the seats are completely in there and bolted down and i am going to have to take all of the bolts out and remove the front seats and i'm gonna drill out these holes right here so we can get a little bit more movement side to side the box is a little bit tight in here the box is just a hair wider than what we intended it to be and once i get the seats drilled out and fixed on that then this piece right here will actually be over here and then that's going to make this piece right here fill in this gap a little bit more so these uh, gaps up here will be a lot tighter once I get the seat moved over just a little bit on each side, I think I'm just going to drill it out just to the next size up on all four holes. And then we're going to be able to get just a little bit more room on each side. And that's going to give us plenty of room to move it up. But as soon as we get this Dodge finished, I do plan on starting back doing some mods on the 6L because we've got a lot of unfinished business that we've got to tie up and finish. But as far as the um, arm height and everything, the 6 uh, armrest used to be about right here and I always wish that they were just a little bit taller and now they're up here so you gained probably about three inches uh, over the stock armrest height and that turned out really really good obviously guys it looks like absolute shit right now um, you know don't base it on the looks you just have to kind of picture if all of that was black and then I'm going to build some beauty plates for right here that will be wrapped in tan leather and then of course on the top, I will have a plate with some foam on it to give you some cushion. That will be wrapped in tan leather as well. So it is gonna look good. And then we will gain some more charging ports and we do have to uh, completely uh, cover the inside of this storage compartment in some two inch thick foam and put the magnets on the top for the top plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on some non-copyright music and turn this uh, subwoofer on and everything and let you all hear it right quick. And then we're gonna go out to the shop and I still have the piece that goes over the cup holder, obviously, um, that goes over the storage compartment that has the cup holders in it is what I actually meant to say. Um, so I will show you those. We've got those powder coated and in. We just have to install you know, that piece on here so we do have the cup holder. So let's go ahead and turn on some non-copyright music and uh, let you all hear this thing.
All right, so I know it's very, very hard to get the sound over YouTube. Um, you just kind of got to hear it in person. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's not as loud as what I thought that it would be. Um, I did have two of the cheapest SCAR 10-inch subwoofers, and I don't know if I am limited on airspace. If I should have done a 12, and it would have technically been louder because then the 12 would have been working in the proper airspace. I don't know if it's because it's a sealed box or what, but I took complete inside and exterior dimension measurements and ran it through multiple different calculators. And I did, I do have the proper airspace for sealed, um, but I will tell you, I don't know if I need new RCAs or if I need to run the power wire and the RCA separately or what. I definitely do need a upgraded alternator because when the base does drop and hit uh, at nighttime, it does kind of dim the lights just a hair and it drops down into like the 11 volt range. Don't, I don't know exactly what's causing this, but when certain bass notes hit and some of you bass guys or some of you subwoofer guys, like I said, I do not know what I'm doing. I'm just taking you guys along with me along the journey of building this um, and learning more and more about audio. Um, but when certain notes hit, it makes like a, like a, like a, like a popping noise. Um, and it's not, it's not really like a popping noise. It's like a thud and it's coming straight from, it almost sounds like something is inside the box, like moving or something like it, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it. I hope that you all can maybe help me with that. Um, I know each and every one of y'all that watch these videos, you know, everybody knows something a little different. Um, I, I have heard, I think it may be called clipping. Um, I have been told uh, from other people that have listened to it in person that it's not really a big deal, that I, I need new RCAs. I'm not sure. I, I have no idea. Um, but with that being said, guys, let's go check out these cup holders. I did get them powder coated, so they are the red underneath the truck to match. I'm going to show you those, and they just magnetize on. So let's go check those out. And then before I show you these uh, cup holders right here and talk about that, we do have quite a few mods coming to the 6.0, so if you're watching this and you're a 6.0 owner, we've got a lot of stuff coming soon. We're also about to swap out the uh, hub assembly, uh, wheel bearing or whatever, um, on the truck again. So I am going to be doing a video on that. But right here is the plate that I have um, that the cup holders just pretty much squash down into. And then they will obviously glue in there and they sit just like that. Nice and flush, and these are dirty right now, so don't pay attention to that, but they are um, powder-coated the Illusion Cherry to match. And then I have these magnets right here. I've got a bunch of them, and those are going to go in the bottom of this. So probably do one, two, three, one, two, three. I don't know if I want to do four on each side. I can't remember how many I have. I have enough to do four on each side. Or no, actually, I don't have enough to do four on each side because obviously each one will take two. So two times three is six. I need to have 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. So I'll, I don't know. We may pick up some more of these. Uh, but anyway, these are going to be recessed in this. I would like to do three on each side. And then, of course, there will have to be three on the sub box as well. Um, but yeah, so here is the cup holders. And then this right here, I'm going to take a router and go around the edges. This will be rounded. It's not just going to be a square sitting on there. Um, that will be rounded, and it will look uniform. And this right here will be wrapped in the tan leather. So it, you're going to have that tan leather on the red powder coat. So it should offset and look really good. If you think that I should have this bed liner black as well, then comment below and let me know black on this or tan leather. I think the tan leather would look good because this is going to be right here. Like if the driver's seat was right here, passenger seat right here, and we're sitting in the back seat right now, you're going to have the top pad on the subwoofer box right here. And there's going to be a tan leather square on the top of that with some foam and stuff to make it uh, comfortable. And so I think if this was tan, it would kind of, it would kind of vibe with the tan on the top, you know, and then the whole box would be black because I want to do tan and black. I don't just want all black. And I haven't made a video about this in forever. So I just wanted to go ahead and make a quick update video. You guys know that I haven't forgot about you all that posted. I have just been slammed busy guys and trying to grow the channel as well. And these sub box videos, I just looked back at them and they were actually doing really, really good. So I appreciate each and every one of y'all that have tuned into these sub box build videos and we are bringing it back. 
So I hope you all have enjoyed part four of this. Part five, we're gonna be getting a lot more done, guys. We're gonna be pulling out the uh, seats and the, the sub and the box and everything and getting it all sanded down and prepped. And I'm not sure if I wanna Raptor line it here on the channel or if I just wanna take it to the local Line X and have them do the Line X premium on it. I'm not quite sure. Comment below as well on that because that may help some of you all that wanna do the Raptor liner in, in your bed. Um, I do plan on doing the whole bottom of my bedside someday. Um, so it may be good to kind of go ahead and dip my hands into the Raptor liner and bed liner this thing myself. So if y'all want to see that, make sure to comment below, but we're going to get this thing completely smoothed and bondoed and ready to be bed linered in the next video. So I really, really, really hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope y'all are looking forward to getting this sub box center console finally finished because I know I am. And if y'all have any info on the clipping or the noise that I'm hearing, I've tried to adjust this and that, and I can tune it out. Like if I play a song, I can actually fiddle with the all of the frequencies and stuff that are on the head unit on the digital equalizer or whatever. And I can actually make it kind of go away and worsen and, and get better or worse. So I feel like it's something in the tuning. Like I said, I literally just slapped the amp in there and slapped the subwoofer in there hooked it up and that's it. So after I hooked it up, that was literally all I've just played it and it sounds awesome. It just has that one little iffy sound uh, in certain songs. So let me know below if you guys know what that is. Always remember everybody starts out as a nobody and I will see you in the next one. Peace.